All right, to create a multicam clip, there's two ways to do it. The first way we'll look at is the automatic settings. I have two clips here. Hit S for my skimmer. I can skim through this and you can see dog training. My other clip was a second camera filming at the exact same time, getting focused just down there on the dogs. And this clip, what I'm gonna do, this clip was recorded with wireless lav mics. And let's play just this little section back where this peak is, and you can hear it. And entice them to go get it. <laughs> Dalton. Dalton. And I'll come to my other clip. Now this camera recorded just through its own built-in microphone. The audio has to be clear enough. There can't be too much background noise. And by too much, I mean, it's gotta be a lot to be too much. Final Cut really does do a pretty good job but you want your secondary camera to have some pretty decent audio quality because audio is how it's going to synchronize. So we'll play that same peak back. I'm gonna go get it. <laughs> Dalton. Dalton. So you see we've got the same audio on both clips and of course this clip isn't as loud because it is the built-in mic. So I'm gonna select both clips, right click, new multicam clip. All right, here we go. I'm going to retitle it. It's like the event that I want to keep it in. Starting time code. I can set that to anything I want. I'm just going to select that and hit zero, enter. I'm just start at zero time code. You can start at whatever you want, leave it at whatever it defaults to. Drop frame or not, that's up to you. Use audio for synchronization. That's what we want to do. That is by default the automatic setting. There are other ways we can synchronize things and we'll look at that in the next lesson. Uh, and down here, video and audio set based on common properties and it shows me the properties it's going to assign to this multicam clip by default. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And presto changeo. Here is my multicam clip. Notice that its icon is just four little squares. I'm going to go ahead and double click it to open it in the angle editor. Here's the angle editor. I can do a lot of things here. Uh, I can select one if they're not perfectly in sync. If there was a glitch, I can move them around and, and sync them as I need to. If I need to move one frame at a time, I can highlight a clip and use the comma and period keys, little arrowheads I like to use, and I can move this just one frame at a time. And this is where I can tweak things and get ready before I start an actual edit.